Noodle Squad, and happy Monday! Um, I know I haven't made a video in a little while, but it's been the combination of the fact that iMovie hasn't worked and me being busy with the musical Putnam County that I've been doing Tech Week and then the actual shows for the last two weeks. Um, also, no one wants to suggest videos. So, and I am really at a loss, so please, please, I beg of you, send me your video ideas. Uh. Anyways, so this week we are doing a bookish-themed week, and so I'm going to be doing the ultimate book tag. Um, so let's begin. Um, what? books are you reading right now? Well, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and this book, How to Be a Heroine by Samantha Ellis. And I started these books kind of a while ago, but i just been really slow reading them just because of school and the play. So hopefully I... Now that I'm done with the play, I still have a lot of school stuff to do, but I'm on spring break, I will be able to get more into these, and I'm definitely doing a review on this book, so hopefully in the next few weeks I have that up. The next question is, do you have an idea of what you'll read when you're done with said books that I just listed? Um, I do. I actually just got this book. Um, my school was doing one of those events where they had a bunch of used books out and they were giving them away for pretty good prices. And so I found this and it's um, The Life of Charlotte Bronte by Elizabeth Gatskill. And if you know, I do really like Elizabeth Gatskill. I've read Women, uh, Wives and Daughters and I really like that, and I'm planning on reading some of her other things, so I thought this was good because I'm interested in Charlotte Bronte as well. So, good. Next question. Um, what five books have you always wanted to read but haven't gotten around to? Withering Heights, The Cloud Atlas, um, As I Lay Dying, or anything by William Faulkner. I've wanted to read something by William Faulkner for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird. I just never, like, most people read that book in school, and I just never got the chance. And lastly, 1984. What is one book that you always recommend to just about anyone? Um, this one's pretty easy to me. I really like, um, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And so, yes, if you have not read this, it's really good. I know some of you have. Um, but it's... An interesting view of um, kind of the era around the Holocaust, World War II, and it's just, I think it's really nicely written. I think you get attached to the characters, which is something that I always like in a book. And yeah, I think it just gives a new perspective on something that's been written about a lot. Um, where do you usually get your books? Um, I kind of go back and forth because for a while I had a Kindle and I just got a lot of my books on there, but I honestly really like having the copy with me because I like dog-earing the pages and I like going back and reading things and it's easier to, in a physical copy because you can just be like, oh, I remember this passage from here that I want to read again, and it's harder to do that for me um, with the ebook version of something. Um, I do really like the, um, paperback book exchange that they have, um, that's really close to here, and I've, I just recently went there, and I really like, um, they have a lot of different books there, and it's a lot cheaper. Um, I go to Barnes & Noble when I can, because Barnes & Noble is pretty great, um. I know we all used to kind of just hang out in Barnes & Noble, and that was kind of nice. Um, so yeah, the Paperback Book Exchange or Barnes & Noble would probably be places that I get the books, get my books the most. Um, where do you usually read books? Um, 
I mostly read books when I'm in my room on my bed. Um, other than that, I've been doing a lot of reading, like, um, between classes. When you were little, did you have any particular reading habits? Um, when I was younger, I read all of the time. I was one of those kids that my mom would literally have to tell me, like, to stop reading, um, because she wanted me to clean my room, and so she'd go tell me to clean my room, and I would come in my room and go under my bed and start reading. What is your favorite book when you were a child? I really liked, um, The Chronicles of Narnia. That was, like, my childhood, um, thing that I... Like, I connect to my childhood right away, um, and I just read those books over and over. I, you can see I have my copies of them, and this, this is, like, the original set that my grandpa got me when I was about, I want to say in second grade, and the spines are just all <laughs> lined because I've read them so many times. Um, I want to say I for about the span of, like, second grade when I first got them, and my grandpa read them aloud to me until, like, fifth or sixth grade when I, um, I read them at least ten times. What's the last thing you stayed up half of the night reading because it was so good and you couldn't put it down? Um, this one's easy. It was about a week ago. Um, I've read I've, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson in January, but I reread it and I spent half of the night up finishing it. I finished it in one day because even though I read it already somehow I was like still captivated by it. I don't know. I just that's such a good book. Uh if you haven't read it, read it. That's another book that I'd probably recommend to everyone. What is your favorite uh classic book? Um my favorite classic book which is a hard question because I have so many classic books that I like, like um, Pride and Prejudice and um, like Wives and Daughters. But I think I'm going to have to say The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. And the last question is, what is your favorite book cover? Um, I honestly, I think one of my favorite book covers is, this is why I'm wearing this shirt, is The Great Gatsby. Um, so yeah, that's my ultimate book tag video. Um, I didn't answer all of the questions I kind of skipped over because there was a lot of them. Um, but I hope you like this video and I'm excited to see what your bookish videos will be about. Um, have a good week. Bye. Ugh, I forgot how to YouTube.